there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So, in this video, I wanted to touch more on the subject of how you change your past. So, I know in the previous videos we were talking and you hear me talk about my mum and you hear me talking about the yelling and the smacking and all of that that went on when I was a child, right? And how I am who I am today, regardless of that. But when I look back on that now, you know, I don't see the child in pain. I don't see myself anymore in that what did I do you know like I used to <laughs> what have I done wrong what did I do you know so I'm the victim you know and she's just victimizing me again right into a corner um I can't look at it that way anymore you know after everything I've been through every time I go back now and I look at those events and I see myself as the child and remember we've said this and we're going to say it again we were the love. We came here to remind them of the love that they are. But my mum's childhood was so traumatic because she lost both of her parents when she was five. That was so traumatic for her that she has spent her whole lifetime afraid of losing love again because she lost the two most important people in her life at such a young age. That to me is like one of the ultimate traumas that you could possibly come and experience in this lifetime. To be so little and to have lost the two most important people in your life. And every time I go back and I see her in my childhood, that's all I see now. I just see that little five-year-old, you know, alone and afraid in the world. Who's going to protect me now? Who's going to look after me now? I'm only five. Who's going to love me now? Because no one can love you like your mother. And no one can love you like your father. They brought you into the world. You know? And their love for each other is usually what brings you into the world. But they loved each other. That love is what creates you. And so now when I go back and I look at my past, that's what I see. I see me and I see the beautiful light that I am. And I see the beautiful love that's beaming out of my heart towards these beautiful grown-ups around me. My mum, my dad. And that's all I want. I just want to love them. I don't want anything else. I don't care about anything else. I just want to be in your presence and I just want to love you. And that's it. I'm good. And all I see is her pain. You know? All I can see is her little five-year-old just standing in the world, all alone, probably cold, because they didn't have enough clothes to keep them warm when they were growing up cold and alone and frightened who's gonna love me now I've lost everything everything that matters is gone because when you're growing up as a child your parents are your world that's all you want everything else is just yeah your mom, your dad, that's all you ever want. And they're the beautiful memories I have. The moments I've had with my mom and my dad as I was growing up, where we would just be together. You know, there was a time when I got a little bit older, I'm trying to think how old I would have been, 10, 11, and we'd have dinner and we'd go out for walks because our streets were so quiet back then, you know? We'd go out for a nice walk around the block together. My dad taking time out on Sunday mornings to practice tennis with me because I was learning tennis on Saturdays with a coach and he would we would find courts you know on at schools there were schools in Fairfield that would have courts and we would go and we would practice there 
Sunday mornings and I loved those mornings. I loved that he would get up early to be with me, you know? It's the being that is special when they are with you. They are in the sense that they're present with their love and they're present with your love. That's all we yearn for when we're young. And I see myself now and I see that I am the love. And I just see her pain and I can't help but feel compassion. You know? That must have been so hard. So I don't feel that I missed anything because she was too afraid. And it's not her fault, you know? It's just what she's been through and she hasn't healed it yet. But that's just what happened. You know, but it's just what happened. But then she, you know, she's, I think she's just been so lucky and everything else because my dad has just been amazing, you know? He just adores her and he adored us, you know, he still, adores us, these girls, and uh, and she had us, you know, and we were good kids, there was nothing to complain about, we weren't naughty, you know, we weren't, um, I wasn't rebellious at any stage, I didn't feel the need to, um, I did go through a couple of depressions, and I think both times, because I felt that my love didn't mean anything like it wasn't worth anything nobody wanted it you know I got to that point and uh, so I slowly went into depression because I didn't realize that I was the love I was looking for you know it's that's part of the journey I needed to love me it wasn't that I needed them at all I needed to recognize the love that I am That's something that no matter how much the people around you love you, they can't make you feel that love until you feel it for yourself. Because it's inside of you, the love you're looking for. It's inside of you. And I know we look for it all out there, but it's not out there. It's not in another person. And I realized with time too that everyone around us is like a mirror to us. You know, for a long time, um, because I felt invisible, you know, through my childhood, I would treat others the same, the same way. You know, like, oh, you're invisible. I don't have time for you. You know, or people you love are the ones that mostly cop it, you know. <laughs> so my poor partner for so long, you know, I would treat him like that, like, oh, you're invisible, you know, you're not important, you don't matter. And, um, and then with time you realize what you're doing, you know, that you're just projecting because that's how you feel inside. And you know, that's the magic of studying yourself. When you realize what you're doing, that you're treating others the way you feel inside, you start to see it in everyone else. It's really quite magical. The moment you realize you treat others out there the way you feel inside. So for most of us, if we feel like garbage inside, we treat others like garbage. If we feel like we're invisible, we treat others like they're invisible. If we feel unworthy, we treat others as though they're unworthy, no matter how good they are. They are our mirrors. We are always reflecting out, you know, what we are feeling inside. We're always putting it out there. That for me was a big moment as well. The day I realized, oh, I am treating others the way I feel inside. And then I started to really observe others and the way they were interacting with the world. 
and then I could get a deeper feeling, a deeper sense of, oh, if that's how they're treating others, that's how they're feeling inside. Because I've always known that a person that is, you know, feels loved, that feels like they are the love, they can't treat others with unkindness. They can't treat them poorly because all they know is the love inside and they just want to love everyone and everything. So it doesn't make sense that if you're coming from a place of love that you would want to hurt someone it's not in you to do that we tend to want to hurt others because we're hurting inside we're hurting so we lash out always we're always showing others what we're feeling inside by the way we act by our words you know our actions our words are always expressing what we're feeling inside and some of us are really good at hiding it you know, but it always seeps out. Anyway, something to uh, observe. Start to look at how you're treating others and then start to reflect. Is that how I feel inside? Is that why I treat them like that? Because I know for me, it's a definite yes for a long time. I was treating others like they were invisible and they weren't worthy of my time because that's how I had felt for so many years of my childhood. So I was just reflecting that back out. I was just projecting it. Into the world. And of course they reflect back the pain that you felt, you know? When you're treating them that way. It just keeps going <laughs> until you heal it turn it back to love where it belongs all right my darling i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now